So today we are in Mzingazi and I'm standing here with Sharon. Sharon is a real stakeholder in our community in Richards Bay. She's a volunteer at the SAPS uh, police station with the trauma room, but she does huge work in Mzingazi and she brought us to this area. Apparently it's called uh, <laughs> Help Us with a Zulu word. Okay, so this is where we are at and JP has just panned across to show you that this is about three days after the heavy rains and the water is still laying over here. So um, if, if you just pan to the right hand side, you'll see that the fire truck is here. They are actually wanting to do some recovery work over here and pump out the water, but their systems don't cater for the water to be spilt out. There's not even room in this very area to spill out the water. So Sharon, don't you just want to come and say something quickly to the guys that's <coughs> watching to give them some perspective on what's going on here and more or less how many people have been affected? I mean, apparently this water went up to the roof. So there's a lot of people that's beds are still wet. Cars are in, are in the under water and everything. Yes, uh, this area, it's always had a problem when it rains, but this time it was worse. Uh, our biggest problem here is that we don't have pipes uh, for the water to escape. There is a little rivulet, a river, you know, okay. but <clears throat> people have built over the place. If we can get pipes, then the water will be able to escape into a little river that's nearby at the bottom. This water at the top on the main road, they built a pedestrian. Um, uh, uh, walkway and then they built something that, that I don't know how, how you can say it in, in the road terms where the water runs but now what happened is that when the water runs it comes around the corner comes down the hill and comes directly to these homes so that is how these homes are being affected but uh, our main concern here is pipes we need pipes 